Welcome back to the Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. Now that we're done with that, I can get back to doing what I do best. Now that I'm done complaining about stuff that is beyond my control. <laughs> Will not be on my control that I was. No, I know, I'm not gonna start again. Like in Super Metroid, which I doubt I'll do in LPF because I can't even see SNES to keep safe states. Maybe I use SNES 9. But this is the only thing I'm going to skip past. Looks like I slid over there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, those are fairly weak. Hit from far away. Let's say it's back to it a moment. The moment is in as soon as we get the item up this way. This room can be a pain. So yeah, we didn't get to it. We got through it with not too much trouble. But now, the super missile door. So now we have the ice beam. Which sounds like one of the beams from Fusion, but I don't remember which one. Now I can freeze these guys. Hooray. Yeah, it isn't really important if they're actually safe, because they have safe state. I'm considering playing a Final Fantasy game, putting at least Ballad of Bloodline on hold for a little bit, sorry. But I don't know if I want to play it for a little while. Sadly. Don't worry, I'm not quitting yet. I'm just not do it for a little while. Okay, yeah, now I need to get in the crate. I didn't want to have to sit through that entire thing, so I just. Oh yeah, let's get on. Let's put freeze him in a really inconvenient location.
what I meant. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't record anything earlier than yesterday. What have Except for one small thing. I had to get up at 4.30 in the morning today. So, yeah, I'm not gonna be up until midnight when I have to get up at 4.30. Sadly.
sort of impossible for getting to sleep down there. It's funny, with that guy falls every time. It's probably audible right now. Well, that also proves that I don't use a turbo trigger and a turbo controller. Sorry, see you next time.